for a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more. You're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Friday, January 5th, 2018, and you're listening to episode 135 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Ford, and I'm getting done with Christmas break, unfortunately. <sighs> and here with me today is LQ. We've come full circle. We record, I think, on every day of the week except for Sunday at this point. Have we recorded on Monday? Yeah, we did it Monday at one point. Oh, yeah. I think so. It was before we started saying the date, I think. Though. Ah, okay. Before we started How long have we been saying the date, actually? I don't know. Actually, have we been saying that since like the beginning? No, no. It was it was a a thing when I started hosting. I'm also here with Leo. Hello there. How are you doing in this new year? All right. How are you? I'm doing <laughs> fine. I'm about ready to head back up to school. <sighs> I am also that here. That was a boring way to start the new year. I know, right? I'm also here no, with not the school. Mace. I meant saving the best for last, I see. Yep. Something like I that. always save the best for last. I'm trying to go back to an old podcast and figure out what days we had on. Let's see. Um, here's the first episode Ford was on. Episode 13. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I forgot. We had that really weird audio issue at the beginning of that episode. <laughs> yeah. Was that I don't one? remember. What was it? Yeah. We had... And this wait, when did this get 500 views? Um, I don't know. Apparently recently. Yes, yeah, very <laughs> recently. We've got some new fans who are listening to every single one. This must be prevented. <laughs> For their sake. Man. Kill it oh, now. Suck. Before it can breed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's offspring. Is yeah, excellent. I can't even listen to these. They're so horrible. I can't get the date from <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. How long before we delete uh. them entirely? <laughs> so we've got no, some stuff. No, we're not going to delete them. We've got I'm some things some to discuss. Things. Um, some of it happened just today, Yes, it actually. Did. Some of it less than an hour ago. Um, and it's kind of surprising that we're already getting news. It's just the first week of the new year. It, it, it Though it doesn't like feel like much has happened. Is that weird? I miss casual episodes. Right. <sighs> <laughs> though... One thing is for sure, we did all, all, everybody here, as far as I know, we all saw The Last Jedi. Wait, so what the heck does that have to do with? Because it is the thing of the new year. Well, it's going to come up later. Wasn't it the last? It's it going to come up later. Okay, setting the ground. Yeah, probably back. in our next segment. I thought we were going to talk about Ninjago. Explain. Well, yeah, we're going to talk about that well, first. we're going to talk about that for a little but... bit. Oh, no, we can talk about that for about a half hour at least. See, actually, we have a couple of things that dropped today. Come to think yes. of it, the trailer did drop today, yeah, didn't it? Did. Yep. Yes, it did. Channel. It was a... Uh... So, I forget, did you guys discuss that one, uh, like, leaked-ish no. clip that I kind of did a video on because everyone knew th- no. about no, it? No, we didn't do it because you already did that. a video on it. We were, right. we were waiting for more <laughs> material. <laughs> I was really busy during that time, so I missed, like, three podcasts. I haven't missed one since, but... Ah. Speaking of that, I still want to go back and see if... I don't think we missed a single podcast last year. No, No, we did, I think. What week did we miss? I don't... I think it was sometime in April. Why? Why did did we miss one I think we just had, like, technical difficulties or something. I think we just just had uh, technical difficulties. Wasn't it when we first got a Ryan on and we recorded it like twice and it didn't work either time? But we didn't miss it because we recorded another. No, no, the second one we did release. The second one was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought we didn't. Yeah. No, we We did did. release it. Oh, wow. We were scrambling to release it. Yeah, we had some weeks where like the first take didn't hit, but we went back and recorded another episode. That's how like dedicated we were this last year yeah uh, and i mean we missed at this rate if we have 50, there might be some bonus episodes this year as well so i mean it'll still be over a year until we hit 200 uh we're getting close we'll get there soon hmm. 
But anyway, uh, yeah, the Ninjago trailer dropped today, and the reason I mentioned that other clip was because this it kind of builds on that. Definitely. Some of the footage is... Actually, most of the footage is very different, mm -hmm. except for the beginning, which we already did see. It's weird seeing that big meatball biker guy with, with no mask on. He has a normal-sized yeah. mini big head. It looks <laughs> really, really weird. Isn't it like a Hulk-sized head more? It looked mini big size to me. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I often am. The animation, though, it's oh, incredible. It, look, it does the, look pretty good. I don't care that they look like their movie counterparts, personally. That's dumb. It'll be fixed soon. Yeah, okay, we never talked about that on the podcast, actually. It was one of the other reasons I brought it up. Ah. I forget, did we actually see Kai without his we hood in this not. trailer? I don't, think so. I don't think we do. It's really fast. I don't think so Nia hard. was in this trailer at all. She I... was in for no, a second. No, Nia, I just saw fighting. her. Oh, oh, she was? Okay, yeah, she was I fighting didn't some see her. Guy with Lloyd, I think. All right. And I still want these Power Ranger ninja. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But, so, I discussed this in my video a little bit. How do you guys feel about the ninja face changes, though? Uh, I don't mind. I'm a bit ambivalent, uh, most, mostly because I just display them with hoods on any way if I display them at all. Oh, the baby. Wait, Wu was in the trailer and the baby. I'm watching it yeah. again. I only watched it once before this. Yeah, Wu wins his, uh, his, Man, his this western looks eyes. Dark. His, like, western close up eyes. The movie. You know what I'm talking about? What? You know, oh, like a oh, Western, as oh, in an old Okay, I took that as something like. <laughs> where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people complaining that it looks like. Oh, sorry, I totally went off the <laughs> last thing you're saying. But there are several people complaining about that. It, they, they're like, oh, forgetting everything and Jago's done. But there's several references in that clip we've seen in oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah. To old season and Jago. Like, it really doesn't seem like Where that. was Why the was Falcon that? in the movie? Nowhere, and because it was only in the show. In here. And even Jay referenced an obscure game show he hosted in that mm -hmm. one clip. Yeah. And referencing really how often I, for I all yeah. people show up. He said if it is, if Wu did lose his memory, don't remind him of that stupid game show I used <laughs> to host. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it was like that kind of Ameri American Ninja parody, something like that. Or yeah. Something like that. It's Who Wants to Be a Ninja Warrior, I think. I think that was the name. Like that. Cause that was the I just man, I, like every that was season f four, wasn't it? With the terminative elements. Yeah, and Cole with the lumberjack. Yeah, season four. Shirtless like Ben Swallow. This trailer also made me realize that uh, Zane's bike looking like a bird was intentional. Yep. <laughs> because of the falcon. I don't know why I didn't think of that you know, before. The one. You know, you know no. what's funny? Anyway, um, go back to you. You guys are saying about your thoughts on the face change. Oh, I don't mind it. I think it's fine. I I think like sure people won't like it because they don't like the movie or whatever, or they don't like the designs of the movie. But part of me feels like they kind of look older a bit. Some of them, not Jay. Nia, and I not think Kai. like I think the Nia, beauty Nia, mark Nia, works. Okay. I think Nia, it works. Cole and Zane Nia. could be believable progressions. What's up? Nia Cole and Zane could be believable and, yeah. impressions of their I character. I think Jay to a degree. Jay and Kai to a degree. I think. Jay looks younger. Really. Lloyd, I don't, Lloyd I don't looks know. better. He does. He better. does in like his minifigure like. form. Like I think physically, like if you have the minifigure in your hand, I think he looks younger than before. But I think in the show, they tone down the freckles to a point where he does look. Like he's older. Yeah, they do tone him down. And and, but and you still... can still see that older Jay face. The only thing I wish they did include, um, not only in the movie, but also in the new uh, facial rig, is his I guess uh, I don't want to say a scar because he doesn't have one. Eyebrow. The, the kind of separated eyebrow yeah. thing. Yeah, because that was very iconic. For Jay. Yes. Yes. The ninja's eyebrows were. I remember when they first came out were very iconic. Mm -hmm. And I think. Uh, That's how you could tell I think them the best. When the hoods were down. But I think the best of the two in terms of age progression is Kai, because he goes from. No, I don't like Kai. I, I don't know. I I think it's because he goes from like the just having a normal face to having like the scar, and I guess the okay, band aid. Thing? Kai's face is just too silly. But Kai you, is like silly. now he perpetually has a band aid on his head and he has the Jimmy Neutron <laughs> hair. <laughs> he does. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness! Oh no, here we I go. I never knew I could make a Jimmy Neutron custom minifig! Uh, 
Well, now you know. Yep, now. He's half the battle. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Lloyd looks. <laughs> the hair of all of them is like the most ridiculous hair, and really, it's the band aid that gets me the most. Oh, I don't Plus, Kai, had, Kai was like the iconic ninja face before, too. He was on so many boxes over the years. I like that they can now use, like, the hair kind of molds in, sort of, in shape with the band aid. <laughs> Like, there's kind of, like, kind tufts of, of hair, yeah. like, that go around but it. I, I really don't like the Band-Aid. I feel like I, I wouldn't have I don't know why you care. It's just a Band-Aid. <laughs> it's a perpetual Band-Aid now. I haven't seen Kai's new face, so I can't really comment on that. But I do know Lloyd looks a million times better. Well, you've seen the movie, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, but it's not like Kai was a character That's in the, the movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think Kai right sitting right here on my desk. I took a head off of one of the Kendo guy, Kendo Kai's. They put it on a yuppie body. <laughs> <laughs> so I can be reminded how much I don't like this face. I don't like the kendo masks. <laughs> I didn't mind it for the movie, but it's just... The show is a bit more serious than the movie. It'll... And it doesn't feel like it fits as much It'll to me. be oh, fixed by next year, I'm sure. I think it's unanimous that Lloyd is pretty much older. What Thank I mean? goodness. Yeah. Also, so the voice better. actor is awesome. Mm -hmm. It sounds <laughs> yeah. just like yeah, the, the voice actor is good. Sounds just like young Lloyd, but older. One more and thing better. on the face change, though. They explain yeah. it. It was a really cheap way they explained it. At least they did explain it. I'll give them that. But I hope nothing else was changed from time travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> time travel. Ugh. As far as the content of the trailer goes, um, I'm not so sure I'm gonna be into this season. Uh, it really? Because I, I, I already don't awesome. like the idea of bringing back Garmadon. Um, okay, that. For starters. I trust the Hagman brothers, okay? I mean, I trust that they could do it well, but I don't it, like the idea of bringing him back. I don't know. It just kind of feels, bad guy, it, it feels he's cheap. To iconic, me. even. I understand that, but. I don't like the idea of bringing him back either, but the season is looking really good, though. I love the design of everything. Oh, yeah, I like the, the design of everything, too, but and I think. What? Bringing him back after he turned good and redeemed himself by sending the the anachondra to the to the to the what's the realm? Cursed realm. Cur Cur the cursed realm. realm. Cursed like realm, I think sorry. that was his end. That should have been his end. But instead, they're bringing him back, but he's evil. How does that make well, sense? Well, they're trying to. Maybe they well, don't. Maybe one of them becomes a seeing... Garmadon. We don't really know exactly. Also, what I have um, another theory. Okay. What if this isn't the same Garmadon? What if it is like a replica mm -hmm. of what they think Garmadon What if it's be? an alternate universe Garmadon? You know, I was thinking, so here's, and I, I, heard I, this, think I heard this theory uh, somewhere on the internet. I don't remember where. But you know how there's the baby? Yes. Yeah. What if the baby is like his good half, and then they separate out his good and evil halves? Hmm. Yeah. So that you just have the evil resurrected half. Of Lord Garmadon, and then the baby's good. Do you understand? I'm sure, what I'm they saying just here? don't resurrect him as a baby. I don't think that's where they're going with it. I don't know. I would say like if you have to resurrect him and you want the bad half, you have to separate out the good. Yeah, but they so are. maybe See, that's here's it. what I'm thinking. Also, from the minifigures, yeah, I'm thinking this is like a synthetic Garmadon that mm -hmm. they made. I, it has like all goopy and stuff on I, it, and they're using these masks. I think they're creating the Garmadon well, they were. Well, that's not like that dark matter or whatever. Is going to end up becoming a faux Garmadon. Maybe that's what I think is going to happen. Maybe because I I trust that the Hagman brothers won't just forget what because obviously they're already making references to obscure things. They're not going to forget oh, big plot points in Ninja. Also, Jago. I don't know if we ever talked about. The, the existence, the sheer existence of a Ninjago royal family. We have not. Was that what it was? Did they yes. mention that? In the Harumi, the, in the, the one girl, uh, the one new girl, Harumi, she's apparently the princess of Ninjago. Did they, I knew she was a princess of some sort, but is it Ninjago? I mean, we've never known anything of the Ninjago well, government before. I'm yeah, so. pretty well, now sure we know that they it was confirmed elsewhere. Monarchy. Yes, Where was it? Sure. I've not heard anything about this. I've seen them in the trailer. Oh, Dan but... and Kevin. And I mean, aren't they? Ninjago does need to have some sort of government. Mm -hmm. I just wonder why they haven't been around. Uh, aren't those? Aren't they in the that uh, one temple set? Yeah, they're, yeah, in, they're the in the temple of resurrection. Yeah. I mean that there's issues with introducing it this late, but mm -hmm. you know it's kind of cool. You finally get a government if that's mm -hmm. the case. New challenges and opportunities for storytelling. 
I was just waiting for ninja dictatorship. <laughs> you have the ninjas overthrow it and place Wu in as leader. Can you imagine how much better Ninjago would have been if they knew it was going to last for so long and they would have written like a more a longer story bible yes, for it. Right. They should have known they couldn't just cancel it after 3 years. That's not well, how it worked I mean, back then. I didn't expect it to be as popular as it I was either. I don't think anyone did. Certainly not Lego. They tried mm. to cancel it after three years. You know, there's been talk about... We know there already is a season nine written, and I think it's confirmed it's going to air now. Oh, yeah, we've gotten... Actually, I've seen a leak yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Season good. nine looks good Which, already. It also, it, I won't say much on this podcast, but say it nothing. explains why there's no dragon sets this way. Free the dragons! Sorry. <laughs> Save the it whales! Looks, yeah, it looks... I'm looking forward to that. Like, yes. It definitely doesn't feel like a finale still, and I feel like Ninjago is still successful enough. Lego would give it a finale. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it would be a finale. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it would be. It looks like another realize, sort of filler so, season, but not really filler. You know what I mean? Next year, Ninjago will have lasted longer than Bionicle if it, it needs survives. To get, oh! It needs to get <laughs> ten years to match Bionicle. Wow. Really? I long, mean, if you're counting longer? years, it was actually released. It came out in Europe in 2000, mm. but. Wow. 2001 is really since they didn't release anything extra in Europe after that. 2001 can, for all intents and purposes, kind of be considered the start because of how many waves it got. Yeah, but I count 2000 just because it's simple: zero to ten instead of one to ten. You know, 2001 to ten mm -hmm. is a nine-year. I mean, if you count it that way, it's a bit longer. Yes, but I wanted to have lasted forever. So that was nine years, and I shall retcon all history to fit my beliefs. No. <laughs> Don't do what that. What the heck? Revisionist history at its oh. finest. Bionicle came out in 1980s. So even though we're getting normal Ninjago waves, uh, we are still getting uh, a Ninjago movie wave. We're getting a, a third Ninjago movie wave oh, for yeah, the I summer. Oh, totally yeah, I forgot <laughs> about yeah, the Ninjago that. City and docks. One of, yes, one of the rumored sets is the Ninjago City docks, which is... I've heard... A ton of different things Another rolling around. Another three hundred dollar set, which means Ninjago City must have sold uh, great. Yes. Well, have you seen it? <laughs> of course, it did. <laughs> yeah. Even I want it. I don't. I I don't put three hundred dollar things on my wish list. Mm -hmm. Can't afford to put it on my wish but, list. I I'm conflicted. Part of me wants it to suck, so I don't want it. And <laughs> you don't want to spend no more way money I can ever it. buy them full. Why don't you come with exclusive minifigures? Maybe this one will have a Bionicle shirt. <laughs> oh. Well, I can get the minifigure. That would be I already, cool. The minifigures for Ninjago City actually aren't all that expensive. Because really? of the price per piece ratio, I think a lot of people are buying it to break it down for price. How much, mm -hmm. uh, how much was the Mother Doom say you got me? I think $6. That's not bad. Yeah, it's really not. I There's JDX is much, JX. much more expensive. <laughs> I actually, soon, I plan on picking up a large quantity of Ninjago minifigures, oh, wow. and I'm going to try to complete yeah. a part of my try collection. Try to knock out those serpentine. No, no, I'm going to start with the completing the oh, ninja first. Oh, right. Yeah, which ninja on. are you looking for, anyhow? The J and Cold DX. Cold DX is not that expensive, but usually he's in the same place as J, so I've been holding out on him so I can pay for shipping all at once. Um, I hey, need, um, boss man, did we ever talk about you getting uh, the package? No, because it came the day after the podcast last week. So I, did uh, get... I finally got him the Bricktober minifigs. That I promised him and so long ago. Kai has in an October. exclusive face print, by the way. What's up? I was just mentioning I already told you this, but Kai has an exclusive face print. Yep. Pretty sweet. So, which is uh, much better than do, the movie print. Do you like them all? Yes, I like them a lot. Alright. My work here is done. There, there, there's some very interesting choices made with these figures. Now, what I'm hoping Especially. now is that if they do Bricktober again, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it. Because I'm really hoping that my Toys R Us doesn't close. Huh. Yeah, Toys R Us. You know, Toys R Us may not be a thing by next fall, honestly. Yeah, They're not yeah, doing That's why it. I'm really concerned. The only one in, I think, England is about to close. Toys R Us is going oh, the way of the wild. Don't quote me on that. Fight. I just think I heard that. Hmm. Well, that's so, a shame. Yeah. It's not looking good for so, Toys R Us. Getting back I, to, uh, I guess. The, the third wave of Ninjago movie sets. Yes, do we have any more rumors? Um, so, these doc... Th this this doc set... 
Um, I've heard around that it's supposed to connect to the city. So mm, be modular. Yes. So it's like yeah, and then it's supposed to be compatible with the Destiny's bounty and all that, and all the other boats that you get. With I the can't imagine how they're going to do it, but then again, I could, did not was not able to imagine at all what they're going to do in the. It would have to be city. completely hollow on the inside to fit all of those vehicles. And like, what else would it have besides just a dock? You know what I mean? It could have a crane. Like, part of me nope. thinks that maybe it's like a mini version of the warehouse. It, I think it will. I think it will be a very creative liberty version. That's what I'm thinking. Of the ninja base. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So will it have a tinier version of the reclining chair for Kai's mech? Yeah, I was about to say maybe, <laughs> maybe. it's just a UCS Kai's chair. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Was that actually in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. I, I, it made you it. saw the movie. I completely forgot. I've seen the movie twice now. I even have it on my like saved on my computer, because uh, I bought it, and okay, uh, I completely forgot. <laughs> well, there's a lot of that movie you can forget. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. it was a chair to a mech to a character who didn't matter. Not a very relevant plot That's point. <laughs> and just like okay, the cast of the ninja, it's not very good. Dave Franco, good. The rest. We don't need to retread all this. Yeah. Well, this conversation went off. Yes. Track. Yes. Uh, bring bring us back. Uh, get us off. Well, the we're gonna have to bring us back after the break. Oh no! It's about time for that. <laughs> so on the other side of the break, um, I think that's actually it for Ninjago yeah. news. Unless you guys have there, more. There's you want really to not that much we'll... to talk about as far as Ninjago goes right now. Yeah, just but we do have more 2018 rumors with minifigure series 18 yeah. uh solo a star wars story Still title. that 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 does not roll off the it tongue. doesn't no. it doesn't yeah, roll off the like tongue like Gonk, rogue one a star wars story yes the last Jedi. anyway there's set names TC 14 and the uh, star wars the last jedi poly bags stick around Have a question or comment you'd like us to answer on the podcast? Just send us an email at thebccpodcast at gmail.com. Welcome back to the BCC Podcast, segment two. In this segment, we'll be talking about a rumored collectible minifigure series 18 as well as some related star wars stuff uh regarding solo a star wars story terrible title and the dj uh poly bag from the character from the last jedi i'm definitely getting that poly bag <laughs> i want that character well, we'll get to that yeah let's skip to the last news I <laughs> all right yeah great <laughs> Well, you might as well. It makes already mentioned I'm it. Just yeah. saying, I really this want is it. kind of old news, anyway, so let's get it out of the way. So, apparently, it's already available at Toys R Us. Ish. If you want to pay like six bucks for it. These, like, Star Wars minifigures that have the connecting things with the pin are becoming more and more prevalent. Mm -hmm. Yes. First, it was um, Astromech Droid nobody has ever, ever, ever heard of. Then it was a scary trooper, good. and now it's DJ, an actual character in the movie. I I, I, I nine like numb this yet. Mm, we need nine numb. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get nine numb from this series. Nah. We need to get nine numb. You'll get him in a B wing set one day, maybe. <laughs> if he's not ten numb. <laughs> oh darn it! Yes, Beat that, that out. Needs to be edited <laughs> out. <laughs> Wait, no, actually, is it to the point where spoilers are okay? No, it's no. only been a week or two. I don't know what you're Fine, talking Fine, then, about. Leo, you're supposed to edit this audio. <laughs> All right. I'll just have one giant Ah, I cut my finger. This yes. Entire oh, part. geez, I'm bleeding. Yeah, to be fair, it's almost been a month since the movie came out, and a movie like that, we're not going to be able to hold off on spoilers for much longer because there's And memes. also, to be Spoiler fair, everyone on this podcast has Lord. already seen it. A Sith Lord? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get back so, to yeah, it. So, yeah, bleep that out, but... 
<laughs> reasons nine num should have his own poly bag there yes, you go there are good reasons why he should be included very good ones. yes not just because of his stellar performance uh, Billy D. Williams' son in The Last Jedi. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like the DJ Polly I'm getting it. I'm definitely getting it. Yeah. I like that character. He looks generic enough to where I can like use the parts elsewhere if I want to. And it's a new face. Even though it looks like he's sucking but, on lemons, it's still a new face. Yeah. And not spoiling anything, I don't think. But I actually kind of like this character. Me too. Me too. He's like weirdly quirky. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what the character's name was. Until it's because, of this. because that's busy. not even his name. His name isn't DJ. And that's just an acronym of don't join. Sure it's not an acronym for... Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh... just too good? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I'm very sure. I was trying to think of how I could work Okay, there. Leo, you forfeit your rights to talk. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Uh, I told you to come to this ford. LQ is taking over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy. Wait, how can I take over something I already Yeah, he's own. already taken over. You're Wait, I late. thought I was the host of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, you work for me. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is <laughs> awful. <laughs> 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 Everything's falling apart. I can't think of a good way to transition to the solo sets. I'd hope we'd hit something, solo. but I just can't. Come out solo. All right. Speaking so, of training, so, uh, no, so the Brick fan posted a list of um, yeah. solo a Star Wars story this, set names. This set, this list is actually incomplete, Ooh. but we'll get to okay. that. Oh wow, it's getting a lot of sets. Uh, yeah. you know Lego and Star Wars. But you know what I find interesting? The Han Solo buildable figure does not have a price like <laughs> everything else. Watch yeah, be because nobody cares about those. Remember? Now, also, here's what I'm wondering: Are they gonna base the face off of Harrison Ford Han um, Solo? I can probably. already tell or, you. Not. Having seen the leaked images. Oh, no. you are a terrible person. Having seen them? No, they're not. I knew it. You saw him, oh, too. Darn. I'm a terrible person, too. You saw him, too. I Don't drag me down in the I'm mud. Sure. <laughs> because the guy that's playing him in the movie looks nothing like him. Who's going to want a Han Solo that already wouldn't look like Han Solo if it was based off to of Han Solo? To be fair, it does actually look like a good figure. Like a good, like, generic kind of person figure. But Han shouldn't hmm. be generic. Also, there's apparently supposed to be a new Stormtrooper variant. Oh, another a one. A buildable Huzzah. figure. It's... No, I'm no mind Stormtrooper variant. Yeah. Stormtrooper, but that's also going to be a double figure. So, but yeah. there, awesome. there was, there wasn't a single one in the original trilogy. Where do all these variants so come from? Where do they all go? Mm. Well, to be fair, the original trilogy hardly goes anywhere that's in true. the galaxy. I guess the standard Stormtrooper is the standard Death Star Stormtrooper, because the guys yep. that came yeah. to Hoth yeah. did look With all very the different. Of hoses and everything. The Scout Trooper was also very multi-purpose. Mm-hmm. And we didn't see them until episode six. So still, we've built up yeah. about like twenty different variants of stormtroopers when only two or three actually existed. Yeah. It's it's just getting a the, bit overboard. Why not? Reuse I want the beach dark trooper troopers. back. <laughs> well, also there are so many different types of clone troopers. It wouldn't make more sense. Well, yeah, but the clones continuity were more... wise, but there'd be more stormtroopers. Ironically, the clones were actually more people than the stormtroopers were. Mm-hmm. The clones had individuality, well, so, ironically. Back, back, back on subjects, since we're getting a Han Solo build figure, or rumored, do you, do you think that we'll also get a Han Solo and Carbonite figure down the line? No. No. <laughs> that we can build? No. <laughs> I'd pay for that. At best, you can hope um, for a UCS Han and Carbonite. <laughs> so, we're getting a battle pack... Uh, with these, with these same variant yeah. stormtroopers. Okay, apparently. then that's a cool I'll battle pack. Um, I, need I can also to... tell you that it comes with stormtroopers. Uh, it comes with an officer uh, in the gray uniform with the hat. Okay, that's cool. Ah, classic. and it battlefront mm -hmm. and it comes that's with a one of the Death Star Navy type troopers with the big helmet. Ah, so Ooh. we got a heavy. And too. apparently, it has a new a new <laughs> face print because it's a woman. Okay. Oh, is it angry clone woman? <laughs> Maybe. Preemptively, yes. <laughs> it was it was a blurry what? picture. I love angry clone. <laughs> I can't remember if my Boba Fett is angry clone. Or um, not. going down the line again. Uh, Han Solo's land speeder. 
So for don't talk, we we don't talk about leaks. Yeah, we can only talk about the details. I haven't seen it, so I can talk about it as much as I want. Okay, then. So tell me, what do you think of Han Solo's land speed? Sounds interesting, and it should be based off the flash speeder. I hope it's Corellian. It should be Naboo, based off the flash speeder. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Should look like you stole it's it a land spice speeder room. and it's thirty dollars. The flash speeder. I mean, wasn't the I was right actually color. looking at. Oh wait, there's another land speeder. It's Han Solo's land speeder and land yeah, speeder. Yeah, some other land speeder. But it's Lando's. Owned by some kind of See, alien. called the thing. land speeder but, as in land and, as in um, Lando. Looking at the uh, <laughs> there's some photos from the set of the movie. Um, I didn't know. Not the Lego existed. set, but the set of the movie, and it looks like a blue, kind of like. Let me see if I can find these. Like, are these like leaked? Yeah, they're leaked. They these? haven't released a single official one. Are yet. they leaked? So these are leaks too. Oh, really? These are worse I leaks because Disney is going to try and slit our throats if we oh, talk wow. about these. Bring the Inquisitors Even... from Kathleen Kennedy on our heads. <laughs> oh, geez, they're going to helicopter us to death. <laughs> Even... <laughs> oh, man, that was terrible. I'm so scared. I can hear the Lucasfilm Apache choppers approaching my house now. <laughs> <sighs> Even the um, Capri Sun image wasn't real. <laughs> 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 so yeah let's not talk about those um then we have another tie yes. fighter expensive it's been as a few, always it'll go well and it's, it's like an original tie, tie fighter set. hasn't it been a few years since we i'd got like an a cheap one? original tie fighter for once i don't care if it's kind of downsized i just want one i can afford mm. i prefer them to so it's kind of I prefer them to be as to scale as they can be every ship. Mm-hmm. I yeah, it'll go well with my uh, tie advance with Darth Vader. Uh, I wanted oh, I that want one so advance. much. The next so one, expensive. I find interesting. I mean, I got mine from 2001. Um, we're getting another Millennium Falcon, and this one is more expensive. And it's called yeah, the that's kind of upsetting. It's, it's more expensive than. Isn't that more expensive than the Force Awakens? Also, yes, yes, it, it is. is. Also, like now, I guess we know what the plot of the movie is or at least It'll something that Kessel happens run. during the movie oh boy it's about the kessel run didn't see that Kessel, coming miles Kessel away run, never never would have guessed the thing that's referenced so often would appear I bet they're going to make a joke like hey you think we could do it in 14 nah it'll be more like 16 rather than 12 no no no, no. No, you know, 14. Are they going to try to explain for once that what a parsec actually is? <laughs> I guess is? they have no you choice. You know, they probably will. They have no choice but to. Come on, Ron Howard. Make it happen. You know, <laughs> he, so Rogue One was based off a few lines that Princess Leia said in, episode, in A New Hope. Yep. It looks like this movie is <laughs> going to be based on a few lines Han Solo said in A New Hope. So, what's the next Star Wars story going to be based on? Oh, like go, it's drugs? going to be well, about picking up moisture evaporators. Oh, I got it. It's well, going to be it's based on Obi Wan. So, Big Star Wars. I'm pretty sure it's confirmed at this Star point. It's Obi Wan. I bet Ryan Johnson's new trilogy is going to be based off of I Am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that movie. It's going to be Star- about I Am the Senate, a Star Wars movie. By story. I mean, to the, Senate. the Senate. Oh, what if his trilogy is about Darth Plagueis? Darth Plagueis. <gasps> They'd never do it. They'd never do Plagueis, it. They a Star Wars would, story. But it would be so cool. I don't know. Ryan might. He has no shame. He'll do anything. He's got Catholic free reign. Yeah, would tell you. I think he'd do anything with Lucas any era. Legend. Like they might, Other oh, people wait. might be more ashamed of the prequels. I don't think he is. Uh, I'm, you, I'm guessing, honestly, I don't think they're going to go into prequel you know, era with this you may, Oh, I don't think it's going to be in the prequel era. Again. I think it's going to be Plagueis. I mean, if it was Plagueis, I think they would just have him come back to life. Because that was, you his, know, that was um, his thing. You may... Did, did they actually establish Plagueis as a man? He may not even exist. He was... He was a dude, of course. Palpatine no, he, okay, he, good. There is a so they can't turn it on its head and make Plagueis a woman. That's well, they, good. They could have <laughs> him. We already know who Plagueis was. We have his race and everything. We don't really okay, know because... Cool. I don't think yeah, his race is canon. canon anymore. Oh, that's not canon no. anymore? Wait, I thought it was the same race as the banking clan. Yeah, it's the, he's a, it, it was, was in it. Legends when he um, is the one who manipulated the midichlorians to create Anakin, but none of that is real. But I thought that was Plagueis' yeah. master. No. Nope. Here's the new canon information. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they changed when he died. Now he died prior to the Battle of Naboo. Well, I thought that was supposed originally. To be... I thought that was what, how how it was originally. No. Um, he was killed 32 years before the Battle of Yavin on Coruscant. 
in uh, the old canon. What? He was alive during he episode one. He definitely should have died before episode one, I think, because, you know, they say... Was he alive during two and three? No, because he was dead in one. No, no he, he was he dead by that at that point. Because if if Sidious... Well, he was killed oh, right, after Palpatine the Empire, became the Supreme Chancellor. the Empire came Chancellor. about 19 years before. 32 before the Battle of Yavin was the same year of the Battle of Naboo. He was killed okay. after it, that if same year. If Sidious year. had Maul as an apprentice, mm-hmm. then Plagueis would have to be that, dead. So, so that goes in line with the... um. No, it, yeah, they broke the rule yep. too. So Plagueis has to be dead before then. No, 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 it doesn't No, have to no, be. they broke the rule of two in the book. He, they break oh, the rule too. Come on! Too. And after episode one, made such a big deal of it. Come on! Well, well, I here, think that was just a. Uh, Mace, think fools. about this. Um, when Dooku was training Ventress, all she was, she wasn't really his Sith apprentice. She was just trained as a Sith assassin. But correct? Maul was. Yep. Palpatine's apprentice. Well, that was the, that would be the same thing that they, uh, they withheld a lot of training from Maul. Actually, that's why I never but did, he like, still called him his apprentice, and they still horses. said. You know, master and well, apprentice. He, he well, was... technically, um, he also called Ventress his apprentice. Yeah, they are apprentices. They're just not fellow Sith lords under the rule. Ah, of that's a and plus they do that the I whole kind like. of thing. The reason the Sith failed, they no, broke the rule. That's rules. been that way since um, the Clone Wars, Mace. Darth Plagueis. <laughs> but it's a retcon to the I mean, Maul they also have ago. they also have the Inquisitors in the new canon. Yeah, so. but they're not Sith lords. And they did have the Inquisitors, the Inquisitors are in stupider. the old too. And they all die before episode four anyway. So but real can... quick, though, the point of the reason the Sith fell is because they broke the rule of two. It's their tradition that the Sith uh, apprentice would always kill the master. But Darth Plagueis, you know, he wasn't planning on dying, which kind of... So that makes sense he broke the rule Palpatine of Palpatine wasn't planning on dying okay. either. Yoda is one that made... You know, see, the Sith don't make uh, as big of a deal of the rule of two like everyone says it's only yoda who mentions it because yeah. he knows about like how it was for yeah a while. he is 900 years because he would have been so. alive during darth bane's time mm-hmm. right I, uh, quite possibly Bane. but he sure might have I, don't think it's that I think he was active about a hundred years after which it would still be you know yeah because he would have been 800 by but the time either way he would have picked up on that because for a long time it was a mm-hmm. tradition Okay, so maybe anyways, Yoda was just an now idiot. The things we, He's been an idiot many times what before. What we know about what we know about Darth Plagueis now was he died before the invasion of Naboo, which actually you know it does make more sense yes, this way than good. dying. That's after. what I said. Yes, he should be like because this. that it way be that like way Palpatine well, cements himself as the Dark Lord of the Sith. Well, last time it was correct me if I'm wrong. Before this this change uh, with the new canon. Last time it was Palpatine killed Plagueis after uh, Plagueis had helped secure his rise as Supreme Chancellor. Because he was relying on Plagueis That's as true. a puppet. Yes. Well, not really a puppet. Plagueis was putting his apprentice in place, moving a bunch of power and money, and exerting a lot of influence to help him I get think elected. So. Uh-huh. He was the one who moved a bunch of levers so that it wasn't Bail Organa or whoever else was going against him who would become Supreme Chancellor. It was one and of. When, um... And when Plagueis had served his purpose, that's when. Palpatine had killed him. I remember one of the mm-hmm. people up so running was from Malastare. I'm very interested to hear how they, what reasons they give for uh, Palpatine killing Plagueis this time. It may what be for species? the same, but if it's before, if it's before the Battle of Naboo and before the crisis that gets Palpatine yes. into office, then mm-hmm. I think it would that would be a bit harder to navigate. I mean, how do we get on? We this? were trying to figure we out what species his stories. canon species is. What's his canon species? Oh yeah, I still say he's a mun. I think that makes we the most sense. He's already pole. talked about all the sense. Hey, he's hey, he's a he has to be a mun because he's good at banking. Banking <laughs> But is he a pork? <laughs> <laughs> we have one more piece of news to discuss before we end this <laughs> segment. The banking clan will discuss this news. So, um, Series 18, the Brick Fan has posted a rumored list. It is all suit characters, basically. Mm -hmm. We have Cat Suit Guy, Slash Girl, Balloon Artist Clown, Cowboy Suit Guy, Cactus Girl, Purple Balloon Girl, (laughs) Spider Suit Guy. Smugly distinct. Orange balloon Lego fan by. I hope he comes with a cool t shirt. Yep. Then that'll make it worth it. Blue unicorn knight. Interesting. Blue what? brick girl. 
don't know what i hope they're lego brick me costumes too, too. that'll be interesting think, yeah flower girl race car guy birthday cake guy red dragon suit guy i look forward to that <laughs> one but probably be way too goofy for my taste rocket slash firework guy elephant suit guy classic police officer, and murder which is weird <laughs> And red suit brick guy. So there's only two or three I'm really interested in. I'm really in. Only interested in the blue unicorn knight. I want to see the bricks. Blue unicorn knight. And I want... Maybe the cowboy suit guy. Just because of the hat. Uh, what's classic police officer? We've already Maybe it'll be Andy Taylor. Oh, that officer. would be good. Andy Taylor. Yeah, Andy Griffith. <laughs> or Barney Fife. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I, that'd Something be like good. That that'd be good. Yeah, it could, no. they've done movie you know, characters. Someday, but... when Lego really loses popularity, they're gonna do way more lights and stuff. They've like done that. movies and TV show in collectible things Lego, before. The I'm Dick sure Van they Dyke one. Show coming soon, 2020. What if they did an Andy Griffith like Dimensions pack <laughs> if Dimensions were still going? <laughs> that would be. We we could have Opie Taylor who be <laughs> uh, Ronnie. We finally have a Ron Howard minifigure. <laughs> oh, young Ron Howard. And then we could give him that. Well, Camera if Ron Howard gives himself a cameo in Solo, <laughs> then eventually... If I was the director, I would be shameless to give myself a cameo. I don't even care. I would. Uh, I know, uh, you know, Clint Howard's supposed to be in that movie. <laughs> huh. Uh, I wonder who. Wouldn't it be amazing if Solo was actually good? Oh, hey. Wouldn't that be amazing? We got five months. Wouldn't it be amazing if there is no more war? <laughs> 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 yeah okay you can ah, dream. but you see that second goal is actually possible if you make us all vegetables wouldn't it be amazing if we could get plagueis a star what Wars story? you know vegetables is in like brain dead not as in like carrots <laughs> darth plagueis episode one two and three make it happen um, <laughs> see there can't be any war if there's nobody to war <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonk, a Star Wars story. I mean, it makes sense. You can't have war if there's nobody to. Well, to this has officially been derailed, so let's yep. end the segment. No, what we're just here. On My wisdom is too profound. Look, look, in all seriousness, there's nothing to go on with these minifigs. Yeah. It's just costumes. I hope we get a Lego t shirt, and that's about it. If they all come with, like,. It, as well as like the whole costume thing if they all come with like a trick-or-treating type of thing like a one of those basket things they had in the monster series and stuff oh mm. i don't think they'll uh, do i don't that. yeah i don't think they'll do it either but if it's like a costume party type of theme then okay releases in april okay never mind I want. Get what I said. Total bunk. I want the spider guy. So I've I never can... been a big fan of the suit guy minifigures in general. I've so liked the. I know a lot of people. I've like you don't like banana ones, man. Yes, banana. Banana's good. I. I but he's it. fine. I just. I wouldn't. Don't care to own one. But. But look at his sunglasses. Like the They're so radical. <laughs> radical. He has the best sunglasses. I like. like I. Like the space, Johnny. not the not the classic space guy or not like the retro space guy I didn't like that one but like the mech ones they've had and the you know alien the cool looking ones stuff like that oh yeah we need like more aliens figures. with like specialized heads maybe the cowboy will look cool i really like that cthulhu Ooh. alien they did a few years maybe back. it'll be clint eastwood mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are they so now we're really going to end this yes. segment. Oh, no. On the other side of the break, Leo is going to host a game this <laughs> week. And what have you got for us, Leo? <laughs> Don't tell us! The first game of the new year. Oh, yeah, it's a fresh scoreboard. Mm -hmm. yep. At last. Because I defended my champion. Quiet, you. Ship. You've won two yeah. out of two times. Impressive. So this year. This, Literally, I do not mean that. This year, we're going to try harder. <laughs> you know, we, we took our, our eyes off the ball and we paid mm -hmm. for it, but n this year we're going to do right, better. Yeah, you paid for it in Q. my prize. So, join us on the other side of the segment. Find out who's going to get the first points of 2018. It's me. Want to join in on the discussion? Join the BCC Crew Discord server. Link is in the description below.
Welcome back to the BCC Podcast, segment three. In this segment, we'll be having a game, uh, the first game of 2018, hosted by Leo. So, take us away. All right, so, so when I heard that I was going to be the one doing this game, I said to myself, it'll be a really hard game that Ford might not get points <laughs> on. Hey! So then I says to myself, let's pull up a bunch of obscure collectible minifigures and see what happens. <laughs> so that's what I've done. <laughs> so if for those... Wait, hmm? are we doing the same game as last time? Drat, there's the same game as last time. <laughs> oh, well. I suppose we well, are. There goes your advantage like against game, me. Though, and I'll get wink, wink. This is a fun this game, and we're pulling up some of my favorites uh, from through the years. <sighs> I don't know so anything let's... about this stuff. I'm not going to get a single point. I kind of cleared Grr! my brain after Mace. the last game. Study, Mace. <laughs> I'll study next time, I swear. Mace, if one is to understand the great mystery, one must study the great mystery. The dog I don't have ate my homework. I'll study next time. All right. So for those who do not know, <laughs> I will post a picture in our chat of the minifigure, and the boys must guess what series it came from. So, with that introduction out of the way, let's get on to the first minifigure, shall oh, we? man. All right. Oh, and to add on what Leo said about the rules, we all guess simultaneously so no one can mooch uh -huh. off of someone else's guess. All right. Series one. Go. Series 11. Uh... Wait. Ford, you didn't say do when Leo said oh, go. Oh, I thought... We had. I yeah, thought we got like a minute time. to think or something. Yeah, we should have more yes. time. Right. Yeah. It's too late. Yes, it is too late. Guess. Uh, Two of us have already gone. Series 12. Alright, so Mace, you said series 1. Yes. LQ, you said series 12. 11. 11. And Ford, I you said, said 12. series 12? Yes. Alright, well, all of you are wrong. It's series 9. Oh, well, uh, I was going to guess 3. That would I thought close. it was one of the single digit ones. You can tell he's old. Though. That counts as a sure. point to me, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it so, does. Leo, you got the ah, first ah, point. Ah, ah. The first point of Christmas. Hold on to that lead. Enjoy that point. You know, there's so few of them. Everyone is special. <laughs> Everyone is special. <laughs> All right. Ready for the second minifigure? Sure. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, karate. Series... Okay. Wait. Two? Wait till Leo says go. Ah. Go. Two. Two. <sighs> Mace, you're supposed to do it at the same time. <laughs> Leo didn't even say go, and then Ford went to I early. said go. Oh, yeah, he okay, said I didn't go. Hear you. Five. All right, Ford and LQ, y'all are both right. Yeah. Bam! Two. I should have just copied you guys. Did he come with a trophy, though? <laughs> yes, he did come. With I don't know why, but these pictures from Brickset don't show their uh, accessories. That's weird. These aren't the same pictures I was getting from Brickset. I always wanted this minifig. This is a great yeah, one. Yeah, I did too. Same with the I am a black belt. Same. Okay. Yeah, Leo, I think you got them from a different page I got, because usually yeah, they have the promotional weird. images on Brickset. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe we can stick those into the podcast and post. Because <laughs> <laughs> I post. think they're a bit better quality. Yeah. All right. I promise I will follow the rules this time. Yes. When I say go, be ready to say your guess. Okay. Uh, I thought I was going to say throw. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right. Ready for the third? Uh, I, yes, I'm ready to lose the game. All right. And... Give you a moment Ooh. to think. Give it a moment uh, to load. And go. This one's not it's loading. Not loading. It's not loading? <laughs> hey, right. I thought it was you, just you me. You said we get a minute, all right? <laughs> all right. So, uh, Ford, is the picture loading for you? It loaded for me, but just fine. <laughs> Y'all need better notes. Okay, internet. if I click on it, I see it. Okay, it's like and the I Aztec still don't guy. See it. Yeah. But it'll pop up soon enough, I'm sure. It's the Ooh. Aztec okay, guy with like, the I've helmet eating his head. It's a great helmet. It's a great minifigure. It is. I'm ready. Okay. Mace, you see I guess it? I got. Okay. I guess I got my guess. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Ready? One, two, three, thirteen, go. twelve, six. All right. So LQ, you said six. Four, Mace, said 12. you said thirteen. Yes, indeed. You said twelve. 
And Ford, you said 13. No, I said 12. I said 13, you said 12. and Ford said 12. All right, well, all of you are wrong. It's Sue <laughs> 7. Oh, oh you were so oh, close. I was oh, close. Just one away. Just one away. It's ah, those so earlier ones I that, just don't remember. That's another point not on my game this week. This is not a good Before start. I thought you were updating our points last time because I saw your cursor there. What? You never updated our points from last round. Oh, I thought sorry. you were doing it. <laughs> I saw you like your cursor was right next uh, to it, okay. so I did it now. Oh, but... okay. Real quick. All right. I'll ask you later. Um, which one should I do next? Uh, oh, we all ready for the next one? Yes. Yep. I'm ready. All right. To lose the game. Here we go. Da 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 da. Oh. The Royal Musketeers. Oh no. I don't remember I don't this one. Which one this is I guess I got my guess, but it's going to be wrong. Uh, okay. Yeah, right, I got my guess. Y'all have your guesses? All right. Here we go. Three. Five. Four. Okay, Three. You said four? Yes. Mace, you said three? Yes, I did. And Ford, what'd you say? Five. Five. <laughs> well, Hugh, you, you get it. Series four. Darn it! Oh. Yes. Look, I'm only going off the, for this one. Like, you can kind of tell what era minifigure is from by the quality of its yeah, printing. Yeah, he's much earlier than like a series twelve would be. Ha, Leo, you no longer have the lead. No. This one, I better be harder for your but sake. You are Leo. tied. <laughs> All right. Yes, that means everyone's a loser. Wait, no one's ahead. That means I don't have the lead. <laughs> Hey, I got last place. Right. Ready for the this next one? This is the worst game? year ever. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. And get ready for some spooky time. It's Boris Karloff himself. Um. Oh, I know I this one. All right. Oh. So get your guesses ready. Okay, okay I got my All guess. Right. Wait, do I know this one? Do I know this out. one? Actually, this might be a fake out. Um... Y'all have it? Um, wait, wait, give me okay, a second. Okay, fine. We'll give you a think. crutch. <laughs> was it? Now I'm rethinking. I thought I knew it. I you want to go home and it, rethink your life, LQ. Now that I think about it, this was may have been one of the ones that inspired that. Um, Yeah, I'm thinking it was... I'm just going to wing it. We'll wing it. All right. All right. You think you got it? Got a guess? Maybe. Y'all have <laughs> guesses? I suppose. Yep. All right. Here go. Two. Three. Five. Ford, you said three? Yep. LQ, you said five? And Mace, yes. you said two? Uh, yes. All right, Ford, you get it. It is serious. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> scream. Now we're all losing. <laughs> nah. I have zero. Y'all have at least one point. All right, I have two more left. Oh, man. So, let's see. I'll save the best, my favorite for last. This is my second favorite. Oh, oh, oh I love that my, one. One of my yes. favorites. I wish I got this one. It is a very good one. Oh, but which series is Now, it? I'm like 90% certain I know the series. I think I know it, too. Man, I'm going to have to study this junk. <laughs> you must study. And in studying, you will learn that man is mortal. All right, y'all have your guesses. Yes. No, not oh. quite. Because this is okay. I know this is the first series I got a minifigure oh, really? from, and I was somewhat late. Hmm. I think this is the same for me as well. Hmm. Well, think faster. Uh, <clears throat> was it as early as three, or was it later? I've got my I guess. Don't remember. All right, Ford has his. Mace? I got mine. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to go yeah, with. Y'all have your guesses? E. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? Aim. Fire. 14. 13. 7. Ford, you said what again? 13. I said 13. 14. LQ, you said... 7. Mace? I know 13 is too Mace, late. you said 14? Yes. All right. LQ, you're right. Series 7. Seven. Yes. A spot with the Aztec warrior. Wow, he's excellent oh, wow. For, uh, for such an early one. I could have sworn this was the same as the. I'm sheriff. looking it up now, man. I remember also I got the bagpiper from that one. One of my all-time mm, favorites. I really wish I'd gotten that one. Huh. Yeah, he was also right. with the evil robot, mm -hmm. which is also a good one. Oh yeah. 
All right. Wait, no. Am I thinking of the same one? There's no evil robot. The evil knight is in no, this evil one. robot was at series eight, actually. I think. That's the. Are you thinking of the mech one, the one with the green face? No, I'm thinking of the black the, as the black. No, I'm thinking symbol? of the robot that had a red laser gun and the. Oh, okay. I really love the evil mech the one though. That one was Wasn't a cool that a one. Wasn't that a Cyborg? reference. I don't know. No, not Cyborg. Alien. It was a uh, mech. All right. Ready for the last one? E. I think right. this is my favorite minifigure from this series. From the from the line of all time. Spartans! Oh, uh, I know one. this. Oh, wait. We're supposed to it. wait. I know it. We're supposed to wait. All right. <laughs> Ford, you have your guess. Mace, I yep. heard yours. Yes. Thank you. you have it? Yeah. Right, go. Two. One. You're right, Ford. So you're ah! right. Oh! Darn! <laughs> I just knew gotcha. it was one or the other. No. <laughs> well, congratulations, Ford. We're tied no. again. Uh, when LQ said one, well, I got my hopes up so let's much. Let's go, son. All right, let me look at these scores. That was a pretty good fake out. Oh, so, man, start is happening again. It's happening <laughs> again. <laughs> the can't stop final scores week. of the week are me at three points, Leo, two points, Ford, three points, everyone else, <laughs> zero. Oh. Come on, guests. You got to get your act together. Yep. I'll try. No, not you, Mace, the guests. We should have <laughs> guests on again sometime. It's just so much worse yes, to schedule guests. Mm -hmm. We should get a... Uh, uh, Some, someone. On. No, no, we should. Oh. No. <laughs> no. This will be Leo, the city. are you intent on derailing conversations? <laughs> uh, yes. He, he How did you been. notice? He is an agent of chaos, you know. <laughs> chaos is magic. Chaos fuels yep. witch doctors. Yeah, now we're like a little bit. The game went faster than normal, so we're like a little bit ahead of schedule. <laughs> oh, cool! We can talk about whatever we want. Yeah, yeah. we could. Like um, Patreon, I want to talk like about Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, that's that's an topic. Because <laughs> we have a Patreon. Please donate. Now it's been a bit slower, like with the Christmas stuff coming up, but um, a behind-the-scenes episode of Cooking Hero Factory, which I have still not seen. A whole <laughs> half hour of bonus footage is being released if there. If can stand it. Oh, of course they can. If they're a Patreon, <laughs> they love it. It's pretty funny, though. I think you're gonna like it. Tell me, is there more consumption of raw meat? <laughs> uh, you know, even you I never haven't actually consumed the raw meat, no, for the that. record. You didn't have to tell that to the audience. <laughs> it was all an illusion. But yes, we have several tiers there. Um, oh, coming down my cheek. Mostly, it's just for if someone would like to help us get a little bit of money because YouTube doesn't give us that. Yeah. We need to buy equipment, make quality content. Yeah, we. we need... the, this money's not even gonna help us with the equipment. It will maybe help for a few things. Yeah, we need <laughs> like to. Doctor's bills. We put thousands of dollars into the channel at this point. We're never getting that nope. return, mm -hmm. but. It is nice to get a little something better and just, you know, it always feels nice as a creator to know that someone supports what you're mm. doing. So, please check it out. Check out some of the rewards there. If you have suggestions for what you'd like to see there, there is a channel in our Discord server for both Patreons and non-Patreons to suggest stuff. And to the people who are already Patreons, we really do appreciate it. And no, we will not climb Mount Everest for views. <laughs> Well, I mean, depending on how much they donate. <laughs> well, we I just, would uh, if we had skills. We don't. Look, I'll do almost anything for enough money. <laughs> well, um, I, I, I'm kind of like Orion in this podcast, at least, because I cut my finger uh, paper cut, and it was bleeding perfers profusely. So Perversely. now I have blood for views. <laughs> Are you proud of me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... No, I couldn't. No. <laughs> Man, you're very. Um, I think I broke it. Very right? unproud there. Core does not care where the blood comes from, only that it is spilled. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, we've got a pretty big announcement coming within the next few weeks. We do. Like mm -hmm. really big. It's so big, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, same here. You know what it is, you've just forgotten. Oh, oh, it's that thing, right, right. Oh, yeah! That thing, where we're gonna go right. to Sparta! Yes. Yes. Okay, never mind. 
No, it is not yes. that. Um, but it is very big and it's really huge a for degrees. us as a group. Uh, actually, though, it, it's you know it's coming up soon. So I'm just gonna say it is by far the biggest thing we've ever mm -hmm. tried. It's not what you think it is. Even bigger than BCC versus <laughs> let me just Mondulary. Let me not set you up for disappointment. It's definitely not what you think it is. That's another thing that we're working on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good, that's but that that's like nowhere near to the point where we can even confirm its existence. Oh, that's true. Shh. All right. My lips are sealed. There is stuff happening. Yes, we so are walking on. Spot. Thank you for your continual support and views. Check out our videos. We released two videos for Christmas this year. So... Yeah, check those out. They're not getting as many views as I had hoped, honestly. Mm, be sure to check yes, out Mount Secret like Story too. series. Yeah. And Cooking Hero Factory. Share it with your friends mm -hmm. and everything. Share, share a Surge Turkey. <laughs> Even people that turkey. don't like Lego will enjoy seeing Surge roasted on an open fire. Yep. You know, I bet the Surge set was actually totally fine. Yeah, you just wash it a bit. It probably was. Un unlike Furno. It was singed a tin, yeah. whereas Furno <laughs> was, was burnt. He wasn't burnt, he was just boiled. <laughs> and melted. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was kind of burnt. He went through many face changes. He burn, definitely. Yeah, yeah, he's, um... He went through he's the slag, he's matter. slag now. He became <laughs> plasma. But anyway. So thank you once again for listening to this episode of the BCC Podcast. Like it. Once again, I'm LQ, and joining me has been Ford, Leo, and Mace. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Farewell. Wallet. Goodbye.